So I think for infection prevention clinicians, um, infection preventionists, infectious diseases physicians, what's important is to understand some of the principles behind human factors and how that might apply in the work that they're doing. So um, what I would encourage them to do is perhaps um, begin to understand that this discipline exists. There's a lot of design principles related to human factors, which really is focusing on um, the activities of the individual, the healthcare professionals, for example, um, the human in the equation, as well as the system, which is really um, kind of the principle behind human factors and how we can use those design principles around um, various physical design principles. There's principles related to how people cognitively process information. There's organizational features related to design to help improve both the work processes as well as the environment for the, the clinician who is expected to uh, perform certain tasks. And so human uh, factors, I think, for any clinician is really to understand that this discipline exists, understand some of the principles behind it, but then also to become engaged with others who are expert or have the expertise in this discipline and perhaps work with them to help improve some of the things that they feel are important in their clinical settings. And so to um, collaborate with human factors engineers and other disciplines to help think about how they can redesign the work system or use some of the cognitive principles to encourage uh, certain behaviors among clinicians that we know are important for reducing risk of disease, or transmission of disease for um, making the healthcare environment safer, both for the patients and for healthcare professionals.